Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Taiwan will get 1.2 million doses of the coronavirus vaccination from Japan. 2. A Hong Kong activist was arrested on the anniversary of Tiananmen. Japan. Taiwan will get 1.2 million doses of the coronavirus vaccination from Japan. Foreign Minister Tashimitsu Moteji announced on Friday that Japan will offer Taiwan with 1.24 million doses of AstraZeneca PLC's coronavirus vaccine for free, just hours before the shipment was set to arrive. Taiwan is dealing with an outbreak of household illnesses, and just about 3% of the population has been vaccinated. Pfizer Inc., Moderna Inc., and AstraZeneca have agreed to supply Japan with more than 300 million doses of coronavirus vaccinations, more than enough to protect the country's entire population. Taiwan and Japan have traditionally had a close relationship, and our friendship is strong and deep, Taiwan's foreign ministry stated in a statement. Whenever disasters or tragedies strike, both sides extend a helping hand to each other and send assistance in an emergency. Last month, Japan authorized AstraZeneca's vaccine and agreed to purchase 120 million doses. However, there are no immediate plans to utilize the shots due to ongoing international worries about blood clots. Hong Kong. A Hong Kong activist was arrested on the anniversary of Tiananmen. Hong Kong police have detained pro-democracy activist Chow Hang Tung for encouraging unauthorized assembly. Her detention coincides with the 32nd anniversary of the Tiananmen Square crackdown in 1989. Ms. Chow is vice chairperson of the Hong Kong Alliance, which holds annual vigils in memory of those killed in Beijing's murderous crackdown 30 years ago. It comes as Hong Kong has for the second year in a row prohibited the vigil, citing coronavirus limitations. However, for the second year in a row, Macau officials banned the vigil, claiming that it would violate local criminal laws. According to an AFP story, she was placed in a black saloon car and drove away. Ms. Chow, a lawyer and human rights campaigner, said she was prepared for the worst. Huge crowds generally gather in Hong Kong on June 4 to commemorate the 4th of June 1989, when Chinese military crushed non-violent democratic rallies in Beijing's Tiananmen Square. For the past two years, the alliance's vigils have been prohibited, and Hong Kong police are on high alert to prevent any gatherings. This year marks the first anniversary of the passage of a new security law intended at suppressing the city's pro-democracy movement and criminalizing dissent. Residents were encouraged to light candles in their homes and neighborhoods to honor the victims, according to activists. Taiwan is also expected to host Tiananmen Square commemorations. Even oblique references to the events of June 4 have been outlawed in mainland China. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.